It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go L, play some bid and hopefully I can just hit for L It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today, we went to the Nike outlet in San Antonio. Now, this is the first Nike outlet in San Antonio, and I, I can definitely say I'll give you guys my whole rundown at the end of the video. We're going to go ahead. We're going to slide into the outlet, y'all. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, join your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, and the Sneaker Dungeon family. We are trying to get to 20,000 subscribers this year y'all so y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button share the videos all that good stuff make sure y'all smash that like button and let's slide right here into the nike outlet let's rewind and go back man let's get it all right so you guys already know they had an additional 30 percent off on the clearance items so normally when I go into the Nike outlets, I'm so used to seeing just like a ton of basketball sneakers, which is pretty much what you guys are seeing right here is like a plethora of basketball sneakers from Kyrie's, KD's, you know, LeBron's, different things like that. We had some Monarchs sitting on the shelf and I was just like, dang, man, it's crazy. But this gym right here, man, they had the Bruce Lee Pro Tros in this thing, man. Now these were $180. They were on the rack for 30% additional off. And I could have gotten an additional 10% off of them. These were a size 17. Um, I ain't want to play around with it, y'all. I'll just be honest with you guys. I like to let somebody that actually might want to actually buy the shoe that can wear it go ahead and grab it. So I left it sitting on the shelf. Moving on, though, we did see some Space Hippie 4s. Again, these were on the 30 additional 30% off. And, I mean, a nice, a nice sneaker right here. I've heard that those are really comfortable. I was looking at these right here. These things are actually pretty fire flame. I did the snake skin and you know forces they ain't never really went out of style you know what i'm saying so i was thinking about picking these up as well 55 elements they just man they went out man i haven't i haven't heard too many people talking about those like that i do like the air max 98 this colorway was simple but at the same time i thought it was pretty fire so i just thought i'd throw this inside the video as well a lot of 95s 129.99 in here and pretty decent price if you ask me vapor max normally 220 159 now this air max 720 these things are blessing g um really considered picking this shoe right here up as well um i don't know what it is about it man but i dig the vibes of it this one right here another one i dig the colorway you know what i'm saying this is the zoom 2000 and again colorway is fire but uh we'll see what we picked up man and right here are the returns they only had one of each so as y'all seen they had some good stuff in there, man. You know, I when I whenever I go to the outlets, I'm never really got my eyes on something that I'm looking for. It's only been one time that I did that, and that's when I was trying to get those mellow 13s. I was literally going in there trying to get those 13s, and I knew that they were just restocking them, restocking them, and restocking them and stuff like that. But today when I went in there, I just wanted to see what the outlet was looking like. Now, me personally, I still will say that St. Marcos is probably a better outlet just for the simple fact that it's a Tanger outlet, so you got a lot more things that you can do in that area. I mean, you got the Nordstrom rack next to this one. You got a skate shop that be getting the exclusive sbs and dunks when they come out and stuff like that but as far as that area right there i'm i really the only thing that i was concerned about going to see was the nike outlet so i'd rather go to st marco's just because i feel like they have had more traffic in that outlet a lot more people return shoes there i feel like they come from austin as well as san antonio and the st marco's area people would like to go up there just to check out that specific outlet and i've seen a lot of different gyms in that outlet matter of fact a couple years ago i did a video with Steve vlogs shout out to the bro c vlogs and we saw fear gods in the outlet of course it wasn't no like fear god you know the, the high one or nothing like that it was like one of the moccasins or something but you know they always have some nice little gems in there 
as, as far as retro ones, any type of returns, all that good stuff, man. You can find them at St. Marcos. Now, this one right here, you guys saw they did had a Bruce Lee Kobe's. It was a size 17. The lid was missing and everything. I probably could have bought the shoe and tried to flip it on gold, but I was just like, nah, man, I'm going to leave that joint right there. But I did grab some stuff. I didn't go in there, like I said, looking for anything particular, but I did end up picking up these right here. Now, steals and deals, man. Y'all already know, man. Your boy's all about a steal and a deal. And these right here are some Nike pants. What's the specific name of these, man? Standard taper leg regular length. And I got these in an extra large. As you guys can see, they have the Nike right there in that, in that neon color. And I was just like, yo, gee, these joints remind me of something that I could rock with the neon Air Max 95 OGs. So I was like, yo, I had to pick these bad boys up. They're dope, man. I like how on the back right here, you kind of have that label that you see on the back of the Nike boxes underneath it, should I say. And yeah, man, comfortable pair of pants right here. Something different. The regular price of these was $100. And they were on sale for $69.99. Then I got a discount because I paid... Hold on, let's see. Let's see. Matter of fact, let's just get the other box out. Then, then we'll let's get the shoes out. Well, not really shoes, but something similar. So right here, this is the last purchase. Right here, we have the slides, man. This is the Nike offline slide. The guy was talking, hey, that dude was pitching it to me, man. He seen me with my camera. He seen that I was in there trying to make a video and everything. And he was just chopping it up with me. And he pitched me these, man. Now, you do have a pair of uh, inserts right here and this one right here this green one from what I was told in the store this is actually for people that have uh, arches in their foot so this is for that like that arch support and here are the actual pair of shoes that I got and I can't really say shoes they slides now this is the Nike offline midnight navy racer blue now the suggested retail on these is $120 you guys can see that they had them on sale for $84.99 and then you had an additional 30% off and then I got an additional 10% off of the off of these as well here you have that racer blue midnight navy it's something different man nothing that I was expecting to actually pick up today and I was just like yo it when I seen like the box I, and that's the one thing I really wish that at the outlet you would get the actual lids and covers and stuff but this is actually very unique if you ask me um comfort is crazy it's a comfortable slide man and for me being flat footed i have the pink ones in there it's something that you could definitely wear out during the winter time and stuff like that i feel like just because of the simple fact that it's covered up you have like this distress type vibe right here on the tongue area of this right here and then of course right here you can strap them down make them a little tight and everything look like something that i wear if i was in alaska or something like that but nonetheless it has that presto upper right here so that's what it kind of reminds me of as far as the um type of materials that they used on it but this is a very thick sole on the shoe which um the midsole everything that is thick man so that's why i said man it got some traction on it and everything and it's a dope colorway y'all know i love like royal blue and different things like that and the racer blue you know with the midnight navy mix combo something nice man that i just wanted to add and yeah i did know that these things actually go for a little bit of bread i saw a pair going on stock x for like 200 some dollars and stuff like that and people are actually paying that for them now i was talking to the bro 210 210 said that he saw some colorways over at St. Marcos. I definitely would say that if you're looking to pick up a pair of slides, the comfort on these is unreal. I honestly had no idea that I'd pick this up, but yes, this is a dope pickup to add to the collection of um slides last year i got some gucci slides this year starting off the year we got some nike slides i'm gonna be wearing these matter of fact i'm gonna throw them on right now just because we about to wrap the video up and uh yeah like yeah this is a definitely a comfortable slide i will test out the um the ones for the people with the arches and everything let's see what we saved today so i'm breaking down the steals and deals for the day for the nike offlines now one thing i will suggest that if you do go after a pair of these go a size up so i'm a true 11 i ended up getting a size 12 in them and they fit well you know my foot my my heel ain't hanging out or nothing like that so those were 84.99 i got those for i got 30 dollars and I pretty much got like $31 off because I got $25.50 off for the 30%. Then I got another 10% off, which was $5.95. And then um, the final price of those were $48.15. Then I ended up getting 
um, for those pants. They were $69.99. I got $7 off. Then I got another $6.30 off. So then that made the final price of those $56.69, making the total $129.48. Knocking down all of that, I got another 10% off, which was um, $12.95. With the tax and everything, the total was $113.52. I saved $50.11 today at the Nike outlet. So not bad, man. Not bad at all to start off the year with those dope pants to go with the neon OGs when I get those in. Stay tuned. I'll be doing a nice little video with those. Y'all already know how we rock, man. I appreciate all the love and support. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Until the next video, y'all already know what time it is. Peace, love, and Laguna Beach. And we out this thing. Yeah, it is. It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never go stepping I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes